Now let's turn to Delta State, where Isoko youths have called on the federal and state government to intervene in the crisis that has led to a bloodbath and destruction of property between warring communities since October last year. And they are tired of the needless killings and seek peace to attract development on their land. Ikenna Amechi reports. Last October, nine people were killed in a renewed age-long hostility between Ozoro and Oli communities in Isoko Delta State over boundary disputes. As the dust is yet to settle, another communal clash broke out, this time between Igbide and Emede communities. Five people died and several houses burnt down. Now, tired of these needless conflicts, the Isoko National Youth Assembly converged on Ozoro to speak on the crisis. After observing a minute's silence for those killed, they outlined their demands. It is no news that part of Isoko Nation are engulfed in intercommunal bloodletting. What is more disheartening is the government apathy and aloofness towards this crisis. This is totally unacceptable. We are calling on government immediate intervention by sending military presence to, to concern communities and to put conflict resolution mechanism in place for the people to reconcile the meeting towards amicably resolution. Presently, we have started the moves to see how we can make peace be in our uh, various communities, most especially in Isoko land. But I also want to say if the government come in, it will help us more. Though the state government on the 23rd of December last year constituted a panel of inquiry into the Ozoro Oli dispute, these youths say yeah. that is not enough. This settlement of a thing between Igbide and Emide and other part of Isoko that are involved in this crisis, first of all, it has to start with our leaders. The big men, the chief, the traditional ruler, the kings from various communities that are involved in this crisis, let them both and let them come together, the big men. The youth group also seeks developmental projects, inclusion of their people in governance, and a quick constitution of a substantive board for the NDDC, amongst other demands. But the prevailing reason for this gathering is the crisis in their land. For this youth in Isoko, all they are demanding is for the federal and state governments to intervene and ensure that peace reign in the warring communities and, of course, bring development to their people. Ikenna Amechi, TVC News, Ozoro, Delta States.